Hi Lot! Welcome to part two of me creating a language. Let's talk about this language's alphabet. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the small caps. That way you don't have to constantly copy and paste the small caps. Also, why is the alphabet in this ABC order? Let's change it to keyboard order. Also, let's add apostrophe to the alphabet. The next thing I wanna do is add a letter to make the R sound. But you're probably like, we already have a letter to make the R sound. It's the R. Actually, the R makes the R sound. So I have constructed a brand new letter to make the R sound. The next letter we're going to add is CR. Of course, you could just use K and as a new R letter, but I want to have some fun. So I have constructed a brand new letter to make the CR sound. Now this alphabet has 29 letters. Now for some words. The first word we're going to add is a back. Can you guess what this word means in English? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You guessed it. It means backward or back. Wait, I just realized I forgot to mention something. I'm renaming this language to clock language. Because if I just call it language, then people will, will get confused. Okay, now the word for a back is Shaba. I thought of something before creating this video. I thought about a xylophone. I also thought about xylophones. So I created a word for xylophone in this language. Xylophone in clock language is van. But there's an apostrophe at the end of the word that's telling you that the B is silent. So I thought of a new rule. If a word ends with an apostrophe, then to plural it, you don't just add an X, but you add an X and then the apostrophe. So the X is silent too. So the plural for van is van. So basically, I made the language more complicated. The next word we're gonna add is a bacterial. This word means uh, not caused by or characterized by the presence of bacteria. What? So I have created a new word for a bacterial in this language, which is yawn. I can tell you are getting bored because I am just adding words in alphabetical order. So when I'm done creating this language, I'll teach you the stuff that you'll actually need in conversations. So uh, unbo!